So this this is going to be a huge spoil alert. Spoil alert straight up. Do not watch this if you have not uh, read the book or if you have if you're planning on reading the book. But if you just want to not read, it's a long book, you know. And if you're not planning on it, then go ahead and watch this. You will get my take on Musashi and the lessons that I've learned from it. But I just wanted to say that because golly if you watch this you're gonna i'm gonna ruin a lot of it for you but it's still worth the read like everyone um gets something different from each and every book right and this is just my take on it but if you read it yourself you will probably get a different message and if you do put it into the comments i want to hear your guys's uh experience with this book because it is a timeless book I, I'm not entirely sure when it was written, but man, it's, it's an old, old story and book. So let me just go into my main points, and I have six of them, and then I'll just expand on those. So, my uh, one number one is where you come from does not matter. You can create your own future. So Musashi has just very, you know. Tip, not typical beginnings, but gosh, going into uh, war with his best friend and they have minimal experience and they're not developed in spiritually, mentally, in any way. Maybe, perhaps physically, yes, because they're, they're young soldiers and stuff. And I think it's around, gosh, I don't even know how old they are. How old are they? 18, 19? Can't be. Might even be younger than that. Anyways, it doesn't matter where you start, things are going to happen to you, like, after Musashi um, goes through, in the beginning, his war, and then he gets caught, he gets caught by um, Taquan, or actually lets himself get caught, and then he goes into this uh, recreation mode, where he gets locked up into a room, and he finds himself, and he's reading a lot of books, that's kind of, you know, how it works in real life, too, like, and on our lives, especially for me, it doesn't matter where you come from. If you're willing to put in the time and effort to read, study, and do the work, then you can transform. Just like how Musashi did. You know, it took him three years of just being locked up in a room, pretty much. I mean, that's really, that's some serious business. But gosh, if you lock yourself away for a year or three years, you know, not, not, not literally lock yourself away, but... Uh, uh, you know, set set a plan, a strategy to uh, for a year or three years. Like, hey, I'm gonna read every single day, or I'm going to meditate every single day. Start a practice that you know that's going to benefit you in the future. And Musashi just crammed it all into uh, three years because he had no choice. He got locked up, and what he did was meditated, read. And it was like uh, it was like in Dragon Ball Z when uh, Goku and Gohan go into the hyperbolic cha time chamber. They go in and they come out new men, and so does Musashi. He goes in, he comes out a new man. I mean, ta uh, Takezo goes in, comes out Musashi. You know, so that's kind of what you have to do. It doesn't matter where you come from. Right now, I I'm kind of going through that myself. I started reading in 2016. It's only been five years. I'm a completely changed man. You know, I'm still Daniel, but the Daniel of five years ago that was on drugs, drinking a lot of alcohol, 40 pounds overweight, is different than the man that you see in front of you today. And I'm proud. I'm really proud. Uh, anyway, so that's number one. Where you come from does not matter. You can create your own future. Number two, work on philosophy and how you look at life. So Musashi, after he comes out of his rebirth, is uh, he's constantly thinking and and um, taking apart every aspect of his life. He's looking at when he's fighting and he's studying other uh, martial arts and, and he's getting into art and sculpting and, and just every, everything that, that, just the, his philosophy on life, it, it all matters. And he thinks of it in the, uh, in the arc of as a warrior and swordsmanship. Like, his ultimate goal is to be the best swordsman in the world. So, his philosophy 
and the way he dissects everything is how can I use that to become a better swordsman? You know, so when he's looking at art or sculpting, he does it in a way where he becomes uh, one with the art and then he flows because he has to be one with his sword and and um, every movement has to be on purpose, you know, and that's his philosophy. And even like with women and, and uh, love and matters of the heart, like his philosophy on that and there's a there's a character in um the female lead i would say yeah she's she's like the main female for sure otsu which is actually um his best friend's ex-girl and his best friend's matahachi uh honiden matahachi which is his best buddy that he goes into war with yeah so otsu is his ex but she becomes musashi's love uh, affair or girlfriend or something like the closest thing that you can get to a lover to a warrior of that magnitude you know Musashi is such a warrior he is he's a swordsman through and through and he he uh, resolves himself to live that type of life like you know how people say you ain't about that life like this guy is he's the <laughs> the real deal you know what I mean so um yeah, his his philosophy on life is just um, any way to get better at swordsmanship. Mm, this is my mug. You guys probably can't. Is it backwards? I'm not entirely sure. Dad, husband, legend. Haha. -ha. In in that order? Not really. I wouldn't say I'm a dad before a husband because if I was not a husband first, I wouldn't have became a dad. Actually, that doesn't even matter. We we conceived Emma before we got married. Anyways, that's it. I'm going off on a tangent now. Uh, my philosophy in life is I want to be a better husband, dad, and a man, and a better legend. I don't know if that what that means, but anything that I can do to get better at that, just like Musashi, I'm going to look at everything in my life like, hey, is this going to benefit me in the way that I want to go? On my path, my own warrior's path. So, that's number two. Work on philosophy and how you look at life because everything matters. Everything matters. Everything that you do matters. Um, anyways, three is when, when on the path of the warrior, the tests will be difficult and plentiful. So, you know, Musashi, he's, he's built on all his failures and challenges and and mess ups and uh, everything that he goes through just like us you know in the beginning he's he's just a regular man but through training and uh, studying and just um, living on the warrior's path and and realizing that he has to constantly train he has to constantly learn and adapt and gosh you know it's we're all going to go through life challenges and stuff, but we must learn from those life challenges and take them head on and, and not not stray away from the hard times because it's the hard times that actually make you who you are. If Musashi never went to war, he would have never got caught up in uh, the whole Mat Matahachi thing and tried to come back to uh, defend Matahachi's honor. And then he wouldn't have gotten caught up by Taquan and got caught by the villagers and tried to... Uh, he got see the one of the worst parts in Musashi's life is he got locked up or not locked up but he got tied up into a tree and he's just suffering up there for days and nights and with rain and and that's suffering that's difficulty that is close to death you know and sometimes when you get close to death like that you learn a lot which is you know um it happens to everyone Everyone, ask anybody whether they had a near-death experience or they have uh, a time in their life when they really went down a rock, rocky path or like down rock bottom where they couldn't see any way out. And what did they learn from that? You, usually there's a lesson attached to the hardest times in your life. Think about it. All the hard times, you remember them because they were rough. But what is the lesson that you learned? And if you didn't learn a lesson, you're probably still going through those mistakes, addictions, those 
those uh, uh, negative aspects of your life that you do not like, you know, example for myself, and I can, o I can only speak from my own experience, it's um, alcohol and nicotine and uh, drug abuse, you know, this was before I, I was abusing drugs from like 18 to 23. And then I've been, I was smoking cigarettes for like 10 years. And I just recently, uh, my drinking has become pretty much not under control. I wouldn't say that. I mean, I'm working, everyone's a work in progress, but I haven't drank heavily for like two weeks. And I have a bottle sitting over there. And this been, that same bottle has been sitting here for like two and a half weeks, which is, which is a lot for me, you know, somebody that uh, drinks every single weekend and has a bottle sitting there on deck and it's not being drank, like that's, that's saying something, I'm proud. Anyway, so life is, it, it will be difficult and um, the test will be difficult and plentiful, that's number three. And Musashi, he, um, he learns, he learns from everything that he goes through, you know, and that's, that's what I suggest for you guys. you know is to um don't hide from the challenges and difficulties of life face them head on and learn your lesson go on to the next thing better you know go on to the the next chapter of your life um the best version of you you know because of because of your hardships so anyways let's move on number four is he's dangerous but humble and respectful gosh it's so cool to think of musashi because Although he's such a badass swordsman, he's also funny, uh, wise, witty. He's a jokester. He like messes around. He um he he takes these jabs all the time at like at uh, different schools and and uh, people that he uh, challenges and stuff. And he does these things that are so annoying. Where they'll set up a battle or something, um, and he'll show up on purpose. He'll show up late two, three hours or early to, you know, so he can do recon of the, the area. So it's like, he knows how to mess with people's heads, you know? So not, not only is he uh, dangerous, but he's also humble and respectful and intelligent, you know? So it's like, he's a triple threat or quadruple, whatever. He just, everything that he does, it's, um, it's with purpose, you know, and he's super dangerous. That's that's the biggest point. It's something that Jordan Peterson, if you guys don't know who Jordan Peterson is, I will do a review on him as well, like a like a life lessons learned because he completely changed my life. But um, Peterson also says, be dangerous, but have it under control. Like be a monster, but have that under control, you know. So have a sharp sword or katana or whatever, whatever that you got, but no you know you know when to take it out of the sheath so it's it's important to be dangerous but also control it and know when to use it you know i think that's why musashi and mixed martial arts and um knowing how to defend yourself is so important that's why i, I sort of want to get into that you know i took a boxing class and i only learned like the six, the main six punches and stuff but i almost blew my shoulder out because i was throwing haymakers and and leaning my entire body into the uppercuts and stuff. I shouldn't be doing that while I'm working because what I do is all, you know, my physical body. I'm gonna wait until I go home to really train my, um, cause injuries happen, you know, just like now. And now I'm hindering my workload because I, I have a messed up shoulder. So it's like, why do that to yourself? You know, your, your heart, you're only hurting your, uh, you know, your goals and your family and stuff if you don't keep yourself healthy for work. Anyways. I'm going on on a little tangent again, but um, be dangerous, but humble and and respectful, you know? So re the respect part is how do you carry yourself in a way where people will look up to you and, and, and respect you, you know? And you respect yourself. If you do something that you don't like, you're like, oh, I, I shouldn't have done that, then course correct, you know? So four was dangerous, but humble and respectful. So number five, this is straight up from Jocko Willink, you know, uh, everything comes from discipline and uh, everyone knows that, you know, life is so simple, but it's hard 
and uh, discipline is the is the main. If it you know if you go if you have one trait in life that will uh, would determine whether you make it or not, discipline. You know, it's what do you do when the camera's off or no eyes are on you. What what do you practice when you're by yourself? What are your thoughts? What are your uh, uh, affirmations or what are your what are you thinking about really? And what do you do with those thoughts? So, how can you force yourself to do something that you don't want to do over and over again in order to reap the results that you want? And when times get rough, and they will, they always get hard. That's why people quit. You have the determination and the discipline to keep on going. It is not, uh, it is not, you know, leaps and bounds. You're not sprinting as hard as you could. No, this sometimes discipline is just one step forward, one little baby step. What can you do to keep yourself on track towards the goal, moving forward? If you're not moving forward, you're moving back. You know, I don't know who said that, but it's absolutely true. If if you have the discipline to meditate every day it, it doesn't matter you choose what you want your discipline to be for me it's it's uh meditate breathe um write some stuff down and now it's make youtube videos you know i want to stay disciplined on this for about a year solid see what happens this has been my dream for for many many years i'm tired of it i don't want this to i don't want to die with this dream living inside of me i need my my goals, my dreams, my aspirations to come out to to uh, to do what I was meant to do on this on this you know on this earth. So I'm not trying to get all spiritual or or you know whatever on you guys. But this is just I'm passionate about this. I I love the fact that if you discipline yourself, you can truly get what you want. It's in your hands. It's like in your control. You know, and that that gives you the power. So discipline equals freedom. Jocko Willink. You know, get after it.